On January 16, 1936, in the midst of the Great Depression, Virginia's political and business leaders bravely demonstrated their faith in the future and their belief in the value of art by opening the Virginia Museum of Fine Arts here in Richmond. The original English Renaissance style building was designed by Peebles and Ferguson Architects of Norfolk. And in the years since, there have been five expansions, including the most recent completed in 2010 by famous architect Rick Mather. This beautiful renovation houses the museum's permanent collection, which currently has 33,000 works of art from almost every major world culture. I'm Hope Katz Gibbs, your co-host of the Grateful American Foundation, here with David Bruce Smith, the founder, and we are thrilled to be here with Alex Nurgis, who is the director of the museum in the gorgeous American Art Wing. Thank you for having us. Well, thank you, Hope, and thank you, David, and welcome to the Virginia Museum. So let's start in the beginning of the room where we have Paul Revere's teapot. Tell us a little bit about that piece. We have in this case actually several examples of American silver, one by Paul Revere, which was commissioned uh, as a wedding gift, but then also a work by Meyer Myers, who was a New York silversmith who had connections to both uh, Richmond uh, and to Virginia. And this was a work that was actually commissioned for Meyer Myers' son's wedding. So here we have furniture from the period, but it's not all American made. Well, in fact, as I say, the world was becoming very global. Uh, trade from one part of the world to the other. Uh, the work of art that we have here was made in India on an English style, but then was uh, exported from India to America. Let me show you another example, and this is a work that combines Asia with America. This is an English form of the late uh, 17th century, early 18th century, but it's decorated in style from Asia. These two, I mean, how much of this is posed, do you think, and how much is true to life? Well, it's a little of both. It's very posed. Uh, these paintings were done by more or less itinerant artists who were not trained. So the dour uh, attitude is really trying, the artist trying his best to reflect the character of his sitters. This by comparison though is, is, is very different. Uh, this is meant to be the portrait of a family here in Richmond, out in Goochland County. Um, the young boy with his fresh caught uh, bird, but I would point out the slate because hidden on the edges and the margins of so many of these pictures um, are the people who are not central to the world uh, of the uh, Payne family, but in this case, the young slave girl who was tending to her wards. So what do you see in this portrait? Well, this is, this is very different than the last painting in the sense that it's a portrait, a painting of uh, a woman named Violet Anthony, who was a slave in Philadelphia. And this was done uh, when obviously she is elderly. And to have a painting done of a slave, or even a free person uh, in the 1830s, is fairly extraordinary. So if you have to rely on technique, pre-photography, Violet has soulful eyes, whereas the, the other couple over there they have okay guys. You've picked up on the qualitative difference of the artist's hand. Right. Uh, the itinerant painter who did those other portraits was probably not a well-trained, well-schooled painter. In this case, the, the hand of Jefferson Gaunt, the painter in Philadelphia, was very accomplished. So you have uh, a good articulation of her uh, pose, but then also the skin tones. Uh, it's very realistic. It's an excellent, excellent painting. And because of that, we're able to get a sense of the person uh, right. behind the painting. Very good. And that is reflected in all of the art here. We were really feeling the artists and the history. And we thank you so much for having us to the Virginia Museum of Fine Arts. Well, thank you very much. Thanks for coming. It's our pleasure. You are watching Grateful American TV. I'm Hope Katz Gibbs, co-host with David Bruce Smith, the founder of the Grateful American Foundation. We look forward to restoring enthusiasm in American history for you and your families. We'll talk to you soon.